Aiming in Call of Duty Vanguard is generally dominated by controller players, but there are some handy strategies and unique benefits to mouse and keyboard that we can use to our advantage. Firstly, we need to look at the aiming requirements of a game like Vanguard. Players have generously large hitboxes, and the weapons are very accurate with an extremely fast time to kill. Headshot multipliers are moderate at around 50% for automatic weapons, but with the vital perk and certain weapons you can gain this bonus for upper torso shots as well. The maps are relatively flat and are designed around lanes and junctions without much variation in where enemies can be. And finally, players move almost exclusively along the ground, there's no jump pads, jetpacks, teleports or anything like that to worry about. These properties combined create an environment where rapid target acquisition is the most important variable when it comes to your aim. With the lightning fast time to kill and grounded movement, there isn't much need for tracking or to go for flashy headshots. So in Vanguard's case, speed is more valuable than precision. If you take time to line up your shots, or if you shoot second, you're probably dead. At its core, target acquisition is simply a flick that you perform to initially get your crosshair onto the target. And a flick is a very fast mouse movement that lets you start doing damage as fast as possible while also mitigating the impact enemy movement has on your aim. When you perform a flick, you're essentially taking a quick snapshot in time of your crosshair position and the position of your enemy and closing that distance before the enemy has had time to move and throw off your shot. The most impactful variable you can adjust to instantly improve your aim is mouse sensitivity. What we're looking for here is a sensitivity that feels instinctive, so you don't feel like you're fighting your crosshair to get it where it needs to be. You can find this sensitivity by doing the following. Give yourself a few throwaway games to go through some tests. Starting out with very low sensitivity that will likely feel terrible. Give yourself a few engagements where you try to acquire targets as best you can. Then bump up that sense, for example from 3 to 3.5, and go through another few engagements. Once the sensitivity starts to feel more realistic, start changing it by smaller increments, like 4.9 to 5 for example. The main thing to look out for here is what happens when you try to acquire a target. Are you constantly over aiming or under aiming? Generally speaking, if you consistently under aim, your sense is too low, and if you consistently over aim, your sense is too high. But be careful here, to avoid the trap of missing shots and lowering your sense to compensate, Sometimes the answer is to increase it even if you are over aiming. This is why it's important to explore the sensitivity spectrum from low to high in these tests. Once you reach a sensitivity or sensitivity range that feels good, keep going a little higher to better understand that spectrum and how you perform, then wind it back until you land on that sweet spot that lets you reactively and instinctively acquire targets consistently. If testing this in-game is too chaotic, with all the other information you have to worry about, or perhaps you just don't want to tank your stats, this can also easily be done inside Kovacs. Jump into a scenario like target switching 90 static and go through the same process just without any distractions while also having the opportunity to test your aim far more rapidly against unlimited targets. Remember to aim instinctively. You can succeed in here with any sense, but you would need to fight your crosshair and make a conscious effort to not under or over aim. In my case, on 4 cents, I consistently under aim, particularly on targets further away. So, my innate expectation for how much I need to move my mouse to move my crosshair a certain distance on screen isn't aligned. 5 being my instinctive sense for Vanguard makes target switching fast, accurate and effortless. I don't have to waste effort applying a filter to every aiming action. To show the spectrum, playing on 6 causes me to consistently over aim so that innate expectation isn't aligned again. Changing your sensitivity alone isn't an instant shortcut to great aim, but it can allow you to get the most out of your abilities. There's no substitute for developing great mouse control through aim training or extensive gameplay. The next thing to look out for are your graphic settings. It's generally recommended to play on everything lowest to achieve the highest frame rate and ultimately the lowest input lag. Ensure you are playing on full screen with the highest refresh rate possible selected. There are some personal preference options, particularly with anti-aliasing that you may want to experiment with to ensure you can actually see and differentiate enemies from the environment. In the gameplay settings, turn off blur effects and keep NVIDIA Reflex on. ADS Field of View is an interesting option. 
particularly if you play on a high field of view. If it is set to affected, your shorter range sights will zoom into the same level it would on the default FOV. So if you play on high FOV, this will feel like a decent zoom even if you're only running iron sights. I personally have this on for short range scopes, but will turn it off if using something higher like a 3x scope. In advanced mouse settings, we recommend setting the ADS mouse sensitivity mode to relative and the monitor distance coefficient to zero. This sets you up with focal length scaling, otherwise known as 0% monitor match. To quickly explain what this does, the mouse sensitivity YouTube channel has a great example. If you position yourself so the target size is the same between zooms, so if you had a 2x scope, you would move twice as far back, it will take the exact same amount of mouse movement to track the target. If you were to use a higher coefficient like the default 1.33, the higher zooms would require less mouse movement to track the targets. And that about covers it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, let us know what you think in the comments below, subscribe for more content like this, and be sure to check out Kovacs on Steam, and we'll catch you in the next one.